Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix and I am joined with Coda. Howdy. Howdy indeed. So <laughs> the wheel has, I don't know if this is a blessing or a curse, but today we're going to be reading a Germany x Italy fan fiction from Italia. <laughs> yep. Yeah. We did this to ourselves, but fate decided also. Yeah. We put this we as a joke. opened the window. Yeah. No, I regret putting it as a joke. <laughs> well, it is called the Wheel of Regrets. Yeah. So that, that adds up. Yeah, I guess you're right. We gotta expect this. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we don't know if this will be good or bad. I don't think we really proofread this, but uh, we did we, read the description. I don't remember proofreading. <laughs> That's it. That's all we did. Yeah. Alright, it's called Becoming a Soldier in Italia slash... Uh, Jurid, God damn it! I can't pronounce that. <laughs> uh, is Jurita? Oh, their ship name. Got it's it. Like Germany and Italy. Yeah. Yeah. That that's so big brain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've been on the. I've been in fandom too long, and I want to get out. <laughs> I just sucked you back into that black hole. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. I was already here. <laughs> I open the door, you're sitting there in the rocking chair like I've been expecting you. <laughs> I knew you would come. <laughs> Alright, the description reads, Germany finds Italy alone in the woods and decides to take them as a prisoner. After realizing that he isn't really a threat, he decides to make Italy one of his allies. Does Italy have what it takes to finally become a worthy soldier? Or will Germany invest in him be a waste of time? Ah, oh, this is dedicated to their sister. And their friend. Oh, okay. So hopefully it's good. That's that's <laughs> nice. That's good. We'll we'll see uh, if it holds up. Hopefully it does, or else I'm gonna be mad, disappointed. Yeah, it, this person's uh, sister and friend uh, should be really upset. <laughs> <think>. <laughs> All right, chapter one's named Italy. I wonder if it has Italy in this one. Um. I, I don't think it will, oh. but that's just a hunch. Oh, damn, but, that's unfortunate. You know, uh, we'll, we'll have to find out. <laughs> you know who my favorite character was in Italia? Ooh. I really like Canada, because it was just funny oh, that like yeah. no one ever saw him. Yeah. You know, I never forgot him. I, I, yeah, I, I, I never actually watched the show uh, more than like a couple episodes, because my sister made me, but... Uh, I remember the Canada being pleasant. Yeah. I don't remember anyone else. A lot of them were blonde. <laughs> yeah, a friend of mine was really obsessed with England. Why? He has like five eyebrows! <laughs> I know. That was a, an ongoing joke that I lived the truth of for a long time because <laughs> they liked him so much. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I like how I'm over here sitting here judging him on his eyebrows when I infect him for a dude that has curly eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, but that's at least, like, swaggy, yeah. you know? I thought like, you said he's... swaggy, like... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's got riz. It's yeah. fine. Br Britain's got no riz. <laughs> no, not an ounce. <laughs> he owes riz. <laughs> <laughs> he has a riz debt. It's a riz tax. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Alright, who who would like to start this one? Or we could flip my remote to see flip. who goes. Flip it. Alright, flip it. Who what side do you want to be? The buttons or the 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 bottom batteries? Yeah, hit me with that battery. Okay. Alright, batteries. Oh, also the right. batteries went everywhere. <laughs> Okay. Tis my time to shine, it seems. Yeah, go for it, man. Alright. Germany walked through the woods grumpily, glaring at every tree. His boss sent him on a dumb mission to into the descendant of Rome. Supposedly, this guy is a huge threat to Germany, but he didn't get it. Germany would rather continue training Japan. Germany walked a little further and stopped. There was a box in the middle of the path. It smelled like tomatoes. Germany inched forward with his gun ready and popped the lid open. Out sprung a redhead with his eyes closed. 
No, please don't shoot me. I'm here for mistake. Don't kill me, please. <laughs> Germany covered his ear in agitation. Uh, I, I can't do the accent. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't do it. Um, Shut up, he growled. Who are you? The German spat at the redhead. The young man rubbed his head worriedly. I'm the country Italy, North Italy. <laughs> he kept his eyes closed. Germany stared at Italy in confusion. Uh, you're who they sent me after? He whispered, dumbfounded. He sighed and put his gun away. There was no reason to shoot this guy. He wasn't worth Germany's time. Germany turned to leave, hoping the Italian would stay put. Italy froze, watching the German walk away. After a few seconds, Italy raced to catch up. No, please don't leave me here. It's so scary and I'm alone. Italy begged, pulling at Germany's sleeve. Germany yanked his arm back, glaring at the Italian. No, I'm going home. He turned away again, but Italy began to cry. Take me with you. I'll cook or clean anything, please. Italy sank to the grass, covered the ground, and cried some more. Germany sighed. Fine, if it gets you to shut up. He motioned for the Italian to follow. Italy opened his eyes for a brief moment in gratitude and followed the German back to the trees. Germany led Italy to his home, ignoring him the entire walk back. Italy went on and on about his country and his people and his life. Germany got irritated after every sentence. When they finally reached his house, Germany sent Italy to a spare room and told him to wait there. He had to think about what to do with the cowardly Italian. <laughs> Don't we all? You know, when I when I when I read Cowardly Italian, I did not think of Italy. I thought of Luigi. <laughs> 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 I I don't know why, <laughs> but I mean, I he is also a cowardly Italian. Yeah. Germany decided to put him to work. He walked to the room Italy was in and knocked on the door. Yes, Italy asked. Germany opened the door and looked at it. Italy, who was laying on the floor, drawing on a notebook with markers. Where'd you get those? Germany asked, confused. Japan gave them to me. He grinned and continued to color. So, you met Japan? Germany muttered to himself and grabbed Italy by the back of his shirt. Come on, you're going to work. He said gruffly and dragging the Italian down the stairs and outside. I, I love that he's coloring her. <laughs> it's such yeah. an Italy thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> God, I haven't seen this show in forever. <laughs> yeah, these chapters are, like, itty-bitty. Yeah. Are they really? Oh, yeah, you're yeah. right. They're real tiny. Maybe we can get through this in one sesh, then. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> that way we don't probably. have to return to this. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I shall read Make the next paragraph. Since okay. uh, I only did one. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, chapter two. Uh, useless. That's what my sister calls me. Oh, <laughs> Italy stood in Germany's yard, chopping tree wood. He hummed to himself as he worked. Germany sat on the porch with Japan working on battle strategies. Do you plan on using him as a weapon? Japan asked quietly, watching the Italian work. The blue-eyed German shrugged. As far as I can tell, he's not very strong. At that minute, Italy dropped his pickaxe... Wait, he's chopping wood with a pickaxe? <laughs> That's not what should happen. Yeah. I... Alright, I guess he's using a pickaxe. He drops right. his pickaxe on the, the ground and jumps. Italy glanced up at Germany in fear and picked up the pickaxe back up again. Germany shook his head. <laughs> Who gave him a pickaxe and told him to chop wood? <laughs> yeah, that's... That's not correct. Yeah. Later that day, Italy was making pasta in the kitchen. Germany entered, wondering what the smell was. Pasta wasn't really his favorite. Italy smiled and gestured to the pasta on the table. Dinner! He cheered and made himself a plate. Germany shrugged and grabbed the plate. He ate it slowly and looked up at the Italian every other minute, wondering how he had been a threat. So, Italy, tell me, have you ever been to war? Germany asked curiously. Italy frowned. And eh, no, not really. He flushed and ate quick, quicker. Germany shook his head again. Some threat, he muttered. <laughs> God. Germany sat alone in his office, slowly working on a massive pile of paperwork America had caused. He was irritated that the Allies in Japan was helpful, but they needed more help than that. His boss was cracking down on them harder every week. The phone rang shrilly and Ger Germany flinched. He picked it up on the 
third ring and grunted a greeting into the speaker. Yeah, his boss scoffed. Have you taken care of it yet? He demanded instantly. Germany tensed. No, he's not a threat. His boss got very quiet. You know, I'm in charge here. The pan can be removed if there's no change in your attitude. His boss hung up abruptly, and Germany slammed the receiver down. Who saw you on anime? He raged, kicking his desk chair. Germany stormed down the hall with Italy behind him. He was taking him to China. <laughs> <laughs> if he didn't have the guts to kill Italy, he would have to lock him up. His, this stupid ordeal would cost the blonde his entire job. Stay here until I figure something out, he grunted, and locked the door on Italy. This whole thing was useless. I'm going to lose my job and be stuck with him. The German raged, storming through the house. Good, uh, good chapter, yeah. I guess. I don't know why he used a pickaxe, so... I- no, yeah, that- that's, uh, that's poor form. Honestly, I'm impressed that he cut wit with a pickaxe. <laughs> if it, if it yeah, counts for anything. Like, how- how did he do that? I have no clue. It, it's Italy's <laughs> imagination. <laughs> True. All right, chapter three, training. Uh, I. So I'm guessing this is gonna be Germany, Italy training, unless Japan's I, gonna be there too. Yeah, that's my guess. All right, we only one way to find out, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Germany sat down in his office, staring at the hone. What if I train him? He thought. He rubbed his forehead and dialed his boss's number. Hello? He spoke calmly into the phone, looking out the window. What is it? His boss snapped. Germany took a deep breath and smoke in a rush. I know you want me to kill the Italian, but if I train him to be on our side and use him as- But what if I train him to be on our side and use him as a weapon? The blonde sat down and took a deep breath. His boss paused. You have two months. The angry man hung up the phone, leaving Germany in shock. It only sat in his jail cell, staring at the wall. He had given up crying hours ago. Germany was such a meanie. The redhead moped it. Wait, he's- wait. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's ginger? <laughs> I thought he was had, like, brown hair. Uh, I mean, it's, like, red-ish. Red-ish brown. Okay. I really thought he was, like, a- I th really thought he had uh, brown hair. Damn. I mean, I gotta, I gotta look it up now. Yeah, I, I can't believe um, it's been years since I, it's been years no, since I watched it, but it's like orangish brown. Okay. Wow. But Confirmed here in fan fiction land, Italy is yeah. ginger. <laughs> Apparently so. I didn't think a lot of Italians were ginger, but okay, I guess. <laughs> I will now Google the statistic. How many Italians are ginger? Um, 0.57%. Alright. Not very the many. Image, the image is of Rupert Grint for some reason. <laughs> he's, he's not Italian. <laughs> Great job, Google. Yeah, good, good. See, you learn stuff with yeah. us. Yeah, see, this, this is an is educational, educational show. <laughs> exactly. The redhead moped in the corner for the whole day before Germany came back for him. Italy looked up hopefully. Let's go, the German replied. His blue eyes glared as always. The Italian jumped up out of fear and hope. He followed the German outside and stood next to Japan, who looked at him pitiful with his deep brow eyes. From now on, you train with us, the German barked. Japan stood straight and Italy froze. Froze. Train? He asked, his accent lilting. Germany nodded sharply. The Italian started to cry, but Japan put a hand on his shoulder. He's not that bad, just do what he says. His brown eyes seemed to smile at Italy. Germany cleared his throat, calling the small group to attention. Run a lap, now! Japan nodded and took off, leaving Italy behind in confusion. Run! Germany shouted at the Italian. He yelped and took off after Japan. German watched in irritation as Italy slowed after just a minute and started dragging it in his fear. What are you doing? The blonde raged. Italy gasped for air. Trying to run. He stopped and fell face first in the dirt. Japan kept running. Germany face palmed and tried to calm his temper. This is going to be harder than I thought, he muttered and quickly picked Italy up by his shirt. I love how Italy does not know how to run. <laughs> no, I mean, I can't blame him. 
All right, chapter four, mine. I don't like it already. <laughs> <laughs> a little too fast paced for me, but okay, I guess. Yeah, honestly. All right, hopefully it's not too bad. <laughs> Germany held the Italian in the air by his shirt and glared at him. Italy began to cry and flail his arms in the air. The German put the red head down and spoke, but trying not to yell. Are you going to try to be trained, or, are you, or do you want me to kill you? The blonde crossed his arms, flexing his, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> flexing his muscles. Italy shook his head violently and started running with Japan. Germany, Germany finally began to calm down when someone tapped his shoulder. Hello, Germany. The German blinked in confusion as, as France stood next to him, winking as usual. The Ger Germany blinked again and finally spoke. What are you doing here on my territory? He p put his hands in his pocket, ready to pull out a gun at any second. Oh, just here to check on out your addition. France tilted his head to the Italian, gasping on, gasping on the ground. <laughs> Did he fall God. again? <laughs> Probably. He looks useless. Are you sure there's some use for him, Cook? Uh, oh shit. Sorry, let me read. <laughs> I, I, for, I didn't even see the period. <laughs> <laughs> he looks useless. I'm sure there's some use for him, Cook. Personal slate. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. Franz shrugged. Jimmy squinted at the Frenchman, trying to see if there was a different motive to this. You aren't trying to steal my ally, are you? His blue eyes got slightly darker. France took a step back. Of course not, he winked back. Germany reached out and grabbed a French fry from his cloak. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, I guess. I, I, it's okay. I'm just picturing McDonald's, like the little like large fry. <laughs> just yeah. in his pocket. <laughs> you listen here. I found him. I'm in charge of him. He's mine. The German let go of the front of France, allowing him to dash off and look back at his soldiers. The training is over for today. Go do something useful, Germany shouted. Japan saluted and walked away, leaving Italy to look up at Germany on the gr from the ground. Thank you for saving me from that mean France. The redhead grinned, his eyes shut. Germany stopped for a second and almost smiled. No one has ever thanked me, he whispered, looking up, looking at the Italian. V! Italy replied. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot he does that. God. Germany nodded and walked off, leaving Italy in gratitude. I, I guess that was training. All I they guess. did was run, and Italy couldn't even do that. <laughs> yeah. Dude, at least if, if you can't fight, you gotta at least know how to run away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, chapter 5. Progress. I don't know what... Yeah. Hopefully it's better progress than the fucking running. <laughs> <laughs> Italy ran next to Japan, watched by Germany for a good ten minutes before he fell gasping to the ground. The blonde squinted at the Italian in irritation. Done for today, he grunted and walked away. You're making progress, Japan said kindly to the redhead. Italy grinned. Bing! <laughs> Germany sat in his office on the phone with the boss, glaring at a spreadsheet. He can run for ten minutes now, the German spoke quickly, wanting to end the call. That's it? His boss asked. Yes, he admitted, his blue eyes getting cold. I want for a half hour by the next time I hear from you, his boss hung up, leaving Germany to cuss out the phone. Later that evening, Germany walked into the kitchen to prepare dinner. He saw the Italian chopping tomatoes and Japan stirring something on the stove. What do you think you're doing in my kitchen? Germany folded his arms and glared with his blue eyes. Making you dinner! The redhead waved his arms in the air, splattering food on the floor. Germany winced. You look stressed, so Italy decided we should cook for you, Japan said quietly. Germany snatched up a mop and cleaned the floor, watching for signs of any more messes. When the two were done, they placed the plane in front of Germany, waiting for his approval. He took a fork full and, and took a bite. His eyes widened. Not bad, he groaned. The two men relaxed visibly and grabbed, two, grabbed plates of their own. 
Thank you, Germany said as he finished, washing the plate and exiting the room. Wow, I never heard him say th thank anyone before, Japan said, looking at Italy, who was smiling as always. The next few days went by as they usually did. Italy improved slightly and then messed up in some way. Then he would cook dinner or do laundry, and Germany would smile for a second. J Japan was, was in total shock over Germany's behavior. Germany sat in his office as he heard the knock on his door. Sir? Japan asked, peeking through the door with his soft eyes. What is it? Germany asked, not angrily. I just wanted to thank you for everything, Japan said, and left the blonde to ponder why everyone was being so nice to him lately. <laughs> it's something about the Italian, he, he groaned, as he drifted off in his chair, thinking about the redhead Italian. Okay. No, I am impressed, though, because I can't run for ten minutes, so... <laughs> no, yeah, I was thinking that. I was like, I that's that's not bad. Yo, at least you do track. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, chapter six: Germany's hope. I. That's mm. quite the title. Yeah, that is quite the title. I'm I'm okay. sensing that he's catching feelings for this Italian. <laughs> Probably. It's just a hunch, though. I'm not too certain. No, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to see. Mm-hmm. Uh, Germany woke up late on Saturday morning not feeling very well. His bright blue eyes were dull and his ha hair disheveled. The blonde stood shakily and looked around his messy room. He did not feel like working today. The German walked into the kitchen, grabbing a bowl of cereal and called Japan and Italy into the kitchen. There will be no training today, he told Japan. He nodded in understanding and ran off to make something to help Germany's sickness. Now where is that Italian? Germany grumbled and walked outside. Italy ran around the lock several times before noticing the German washing him. He skittered to a stop and shaded his eyes from the sun with one hand. Hey Germany, you don't look so good, the redhead stated, the obvious, and Germany began to glare. So, you'll practice when I'm not here, but when I am, you don't work? The blonde was starting to get angry. Uh, that was all Italy could say. Germany scoffed and walked back inside to eat whatever Japan had cooked. The redhead frowned and, and wrapped up his practice before heading inside to explain. I'm not good under pressure, the Italian stated to Germany. The German continued eating as if he hadn't heard a word. Italy continued, When I train with Japan and you, I get nervous, so I practice every morning so I can make you proud. The German, Germany looked up with his blue eyes and smiled at the smile with, Shit. <laughs> I don't like sometimes how it flips between Germany and the German, <laughs> and vice yeah. versa with the other shit. Mm -hmm. Germany looked up with his blue eyes at the smiling Italian. You want to impress me? He asked and his, his mouth wide open. Yeah, you take care of me so I want to work hard. The German stood up from the large kitchen table and placed a hand on Italy's shoulder. Thank you. The sick German returned to his bedroom to rest and couldn't help but think of the kind Italian who had become part of his life. I yeah. love the author's note. <laughs> oh, I didn't read it. Let me go back. <laughs> wow. Not really much to cry about, but... I, that was yeah, a... <laughs> I don't get it, but okay. Yeah. So good what on you, though. Good on you. Yeah. <laughs> How many parts is this? Is this... I think it was like... ten. Oh, it is 10. Okay. I couldn't remember if this was the 18 one or the 10 one. <laughs> yeah, the 10 one, I think. <clears throat> All right. Chapter 7. Prep for war. <laughs> oh, God. Is this okay. World War II? <laughs> uh, it might be. Oh, no. There's no other wars like... that Germany and Italy were in. Yeah. Uh, we kind of... We tried to go out of our way to avoid uh, World War II uh, fix... fix. Yeah, and, uh, it we apparently didn't work. We tried. So sorry. Uh, it's Italia, so. Yeah, I mean, isn't most Italia like based around World War Two? Like, I uh, I would guess so. Yeah. Okay, because I remember the first episode starting weird. in World War One. Oh yeah. Oh god. Weird show. So I like to apologize about the content, just in case there is World War Two stuff. <laughs> 
There probably will be. Oh god. Yeah, so... Oops. <laughs> oops, just oopsie daisy. <laughs> oopsie poopsie. All oopsies, no daisies. <laughs> True. Alright, I'll be brave and read this first paragraph at least. Alright. Alright. Italy finished his first full training session with the axes with the axes winded but triumph I can do this <laughs> I can yeah, read this. the word triumphant Journey blew his whistle and the two men slowed to a stop Very good Italy you're on your way Germany said trying to hide his happiness The blonde turned and returned the bond turned and returned to the house and called his boss. Japan waved goodbye to Italy and smiled. Well done, he said, and, and turned to leave. Italy laughed and hugged Japan, causing him to cringe. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Italy waved his arms by his side and ran into the house. Japan laughed softly and walked down the path to the road. Germany sat in his dark office holding the phone while it rang. He flipped through the pages and notes while turning on while waiting on hold for his boss. His eye- His what? <laughs> his eyed- Maybe his eyes. Probably. Yeah. His eyes wandered to the Italian every so often, glad that he didn't make a mistake in training him. Hello? Germany's boss said with, through the phone. I've done it, Germany stated bluntly. Excellent. Now get him ready for war. The Allies are moving fast. The boss hung up and Germany winced. We're not ready for war, he shouted at the dead phone. Italy poked his head and smiled at the German. War? The redhead asked, sitting in his chair across from Germany. Germany sighed, not ready to tell the Italian that that he was be he was using him. His blue eyes watched Italy as he smiled up at, Ger at Germany. Awesome. The Allies don't like us right now, Italy. Japan and you are all I have, Italy frowned briefly. We will help, he said softly. The blonde raised his eyebrows. You'll fight? Germany asked, slightly hopeful. I'll try. You're my hero, Italy said. One way that he had just changed the terms of life for <laughs> God. Um, the next morning, after Italy had completed another training session, Germany made his war speech. We'll be fighting the Allies soon. Uh, I trust you will assist me? Germany asked anxiously. Japan nodded sharply. Yes, Germany, Italy said while laughing. Despite the hard times, the German found himself smiling. Oh man, they're going to war. I guess so. Alright, chapter 8, a real soldier. <laughs> oh, this is weird. Yeah. God, I really hope this is not World War II. If not, I, I, I mean, if, if it's so... probably. Yeah, if so, I hope they don't go too in-depth about what happened in World War Two. <laughs> yeah, um... Oh, the hell yeah, fans. <laughs> I didn't I realize how bad country. the fandom was until I got out of it and I kept seeing, like, TikToks and videos of people, mm -hmm. like, documenting the horrible shit that they've done at conventions and just in general. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> Pretty bad. Yeah. It reminds me of the... Like the homestuck stuff. Oh yeah. Well, you're you're now in the homestuck community. Uh, um, I am. I don't like. I don't. I don't like go out of my way to be in the fandom or absorb fandom stuff. I just like have a couple friends who are into it, so I talk about it with them. Okay. Um, I'm not against cosplaying from homestuck. I've talked about it a lot, in fact. But, I mean, I, homestuck fans are pretty bad, but they're not like glorifying Nazi Germany back. Yeah, I guess you're right. So, I wouldn't really compare them personally. So, now that but... you're in that fandom, have you heard about the Sharpie at, um... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That's, like, classic, like, in <laughs> culture. Like... I love you how you said know. that. Just like, oh, that's a classic in the book. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta know that. That's a legend. <laughs> of course. Tales of old. <laughs> Alright, I, I shall be brave and read. 
Uh, you are brave. I know. Thank you so much. I deserve a medal for how brave I am. You do. <laughs> All right. A real soldier. Probably not at Italy, but let's go. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Germany. Italy church first thing in the morning. What is it now? Germany asked. Remember that tank I built that you said wouldn't work? I fixed it. Italy was jumping up and down, pointing at the new shiny tank that's that stood against against Britain. Wow, very good, Italy. The blonde smiled for once. Italy laughed. I'll go get more in case the allies come, okay? He dashed off. Germany frowned again. He better actually come back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got God. What? I had a weird hiccup. Sorry. Oh. No, you're good. <laughs> Germany raged as the Allies moved in, quickly and aggressively. Japan was done with his, was doing his best to fight off until Italy arrived. But it was difficult fighting five countries with just two. Germany tossed a grenade at <laughs> Russia's direction, hoping that he'll get lucky and hit him. But he just missed and blew up some of his backup. Uh, Lin- I can't pronounce that country's name. Uh, Lin- Lithuania. Lithuania, yeah. Lithuania, Finland, and La Vida. The three scattered, leaving Russia alone. But it was still a challenge. Japan dodged several attacks from, from China, sc- scared to fight his teacher. America was booming everything in the air. <laughs> England and France were waiting behind as backup. Give up, Japan. China shouted at him. Japan shook his head, staying as calm as always. This is weird. Yeah. Um, this went on for hours before something actually happened. Japan, Japan fell back near his end, and Germany held his head high, continuing to fight. Everything looked bleak until there was a roaring noise in the distance. What trick are you playing? America shouted. Nothing. I have no idea what that is, Germany stated. The countries watched in awe as Italy rode into the battlefield on a brand new tank, followed by hundreds of Italian soldiers riding their own tanks. The other two Axis powers barely had time to dive out of the way before the Italians fired at the Allies. Italy, the German was speechless. You saved us, Japan bowed. Oh, it was nothing, Italy smiled. Thank you, Germany said. (laughs) His eyes greet me like I taught you, Italy grinned. Germany... Italy on one cheek, then the next. Let's. Ha- that's how you say hello. The redhead hugged the larger man. Let us celebrate, yeah? The German asked, turning back to the house to prepare a small party. This is like weird. All right. Thank God this it's almost weird. over, though. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm ready for this to be over. <laughs> is this like killing you? <laughs> yes. Oh this God. Is weird. <laughs> Chapter nine. A little room for love. No, there's no room. No, none. we're full. Sorry. <laughs> God, I, I don't like where this is going. They're going to end yeah. up together. <laughs> I they hope it's right? consensual. Like, is... Oh God. <laughs> All right. Winning the battle had become the highlight of Italy's life, and he had never been happier because Germany was proud of him. To celebrate, they threw a party for all the countries, including the ones that they just defeated. God. I'm just imagining, like, they just, like, they get invited, and the inventory is just like, we just kicked your ass, but, like, do you want a party? It's a celebration again, their asses kicked. That's pretty funny. <laughs> There was a pause in the war to celebrate Italy, because even the Allies understood. What? (laughs) I don't... Okay, I guess. I guess this is Italy's first thing, like, first good thing, so... I guess so. Yeah. Everyone wore their best suit, bought the best date, and the best food. There was music, bright lights, and fine wine. Journey was satisfied with a black and white theme. And Italy didn't care as long as there was food. Japan stood respectfully in the corner and watched, trying not to be noticed. I'm imagining, you know that meme where it was like everyone's partying and there's that one dude in the corner. Is yeah. like, who is everyone? <laughs> yeah, very that. It's that's Japan. He's standing in the corner yeah. trying to act cool. <laughs> yeah.
Russia walked up to Germany and smiled. I should have stayed on your side, duh. He smiled again and walked away. Germany blinked. What? <laughs> Italy ran up at this point and grabbed Germany's arm. Come dance, Germany. The blonde shook his head, but it the Italian insisted. Germany let himself be dragged to the dance floor and awkwardly shuffled on his feet. See? Dancing's fun. <laughs> the redhead Aww. smiled. Germany shrugged. Italy laughed and hugged Germany, his, opening his eyes briefly. Germany's eyes widened at the sight of Italy's bright eyes. The German found himself unable to look away. Italy blushed slightly and then kissed Germany. Unconsensual mm. kissing. Unconsensually. <laughs> In the corner of the room, J Japan smiled. His Axis friends were getting along, and that made him happy. The rest of the evening passed. Full of... Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. I, I thought I, I read ahead a little bit, and I didn't like it. <laughs> yeah. The rest of the evening passed. Full of noise and the bad touch trio drinking too much beer. That's weird. Yeah, that's what I read that like a little bit ahead. I'm like, oh, I don't know about yeah. that. <laughs> um, also hate the author's note. Oh, wait, what, what shit? What was the author's note? It's it's not bad. It just makes me cringe. I'm a fangirl writing this, so I hope you enjoy it too. <laughs> uh, don't um, worry, bro. It's the last chapter. We made it. Oh god. Okay, yeah. All right. This is this is my my cross to bear. Yeah. <laughs> It's your own okay. personal cross. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter ten. I love you. I, I, I. <laughs> this is dedicated to Hosa Matthews. Yeah, I'm. I'm Good sure that you. they love this. Yeah, this is probably their like, uh, shit. I forgot what they call it again. A magnum opus. That's yeah. it. That this is their magnum mm. opus. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah. God. Uh, okay. Italy sat on the grass outside Germany's house, petting a cat when Germany found him. Hey, I've been looking for you, he said, sitting by the Italian. Really? Italy perked up, scaring off the cat. He sighed, watching it run away. That was a nice party, wasn't it? Italy smiled. Yeah! Germany smiled slightly and looked away, trying to find the words for what he wanted to say. Are we training today? Italy asked, getting ready to stand. No, Germany replied. Italy sat back down. There's something I've been meaning to tell you. Germany trailed off. I know what it is. Italy perked up again, smiling. <laughs> you do? The blonde blushed slightly. Yeah, you're glad we became friends, and we will be friends forever, and I can stay here because it's safe. Italy was just <laughs> rambling now. God. The German blinked in confusion. Uh, yeah. He looked down sadly. Well, I have to go clean now. The blonde left the Italian, sitting in the grass to play with the cats, his emotions tearing at him. I saw that, Japan whispered, when Germany entered the house. W what The blonde was tired and emotional, so he didn't want a, con a concealing session from Japan right now. He means a lot to you, yes? He asked Germany. The German nodded, looking away. Then just tell him. The poor thing is too ignorant to figure it out on his own. It's up to you. Japan spoke kindly, but with a stern look on his face. Germany marched outside, but there was no sign of the Italian. Had he left? The blonde walked around the house, the yard, the shed, and no sign. He went back to the house, near panic when he saw the red curl near a bush. He ran over to see Italy curled up under the porch napping. Why didn't he just go inside? <laughs> he lives there. <laughs> oh, Italy, you scared me. The German sat down next to Italy, waiting for him to wake up. When he looked over, the redhead was fast asleep, looking happier than ever. I love you, the German whispered, and then Italy's eyes flew open. Thanks for reading! <laughs> oh, Alright, we we finished it! <laughs> we did. At least it wasn't sexual. <laughs> yeah. That is true. I, I don't think I could handle that. <laughs> Either. I don't think we could have cooked it seriously if it was. <laughs> yeah. My god. I kind of liked the ending. It was nice. Yeah. It, it felt like a slow burner if we didn't, like, re like read through it in one session, but... Mm-hmm. God. Um, that was a lot. 
I feel like my IQ is less now. <laughs> like, I feel like a, just a vague sense of discomfort. <laughs> you poor innocent soul, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, uh, I just did uh, Nazi Germany. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I just love how they won, a, won the war uh, and then, like, threw a party about it and then invited the people that they, they kicked the asses yeah, off. Yeah, that's really weird. That is kind of funny. This person is probably, like, 12. Well, at the time, they probably were 12. Yeah. Because this was um, uh, in 2015? Okay, that adds up. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of these fan fictions that we found were kind of old. I, I can see yeah. why Italia's kind of been discontinued for a while, so... Yeah, um, I'm glad that they're old and that the Italia fandom is not what it once was anymore. Yeah. I think the world is better for that. It'd be like the, like the futuristic thing is like, the world if Italia didn't exist. <laughs> yes, oh my god. All in all, an okay book. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I feel like the spacing could have been easier for the eyes, you know, for like like when people talk and everything instead of it being yeah. one paragraph, but it was one big chunk. But at least the chunks were in somewhat paragraphs. Yeah. So, I don't know. 5 out of 5. <laughs> oh shit. 5 out of 10, <laughs> I meant. <laughs> yeah, I was like um th that's a bit much. <laughs> that's a little too much. <laughs> yeah, I was like I don't get it, but well, now it is time for everyone's favorite segment, uh, The Wheel of Regret, the, the oh, game yeah. show where we spin this wheel. Oh, shit, I did not remove this option. <laughs> it's the America and Britain. <laughs> Why did nothing on this saved? I swear I edited this, and then all the options are, like, back. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. N no more it Italy and Germany. We're not doing that anymore. <laughs> Mm -mm. Okay, let me save this real quick, and then I shall share with you. Okay. Because I need you to believe the results of this. <laughs> right. Alright, here's the wheel. You know the drill. Let's hide the options. Let's go. Spin the wheel! Uh, oh! I don't know what it is. Uh, oh shit! Yes, yes, yes. Let's go! Yes. <laughs> Honestly, oh, both fuck. of those options were good because it was gonna land on yeah, Zosin or yeah. yeah. All right. Oh my god, I'm so happy about this. <laughs> I can feel the excitement through the for, through the screen right now. No, yeah, I'm so glad that it's something that. I actually know and I'm familiar with and that would might actually be good. <laughs> I have to sit through and watch the the newest season on Crunchyroll right now. Oh, uh, uh, of Ruby, yeah. Yeah. I do have to do that. But is it, I Is it still on Crunchyroll? I think it's still on Crunchyroll. That's where me and my boy watched it. Like we okay, binge good. watched all the way through 8, I think. Yeah. Okay. That's that's really relieving because I thought that it was like only on the Rooster Teeth website and I hate the Rooster Teeth website because it just functions like shit. <laughs> um, so does the Rooster Teeth app on Roku streaming. It just sucks. So that it's very nice that uh, it's actually on Crunchyroll still. Yeah, I remember it being on YouTube and then like I went to go yeah. look it up again and then they, I guess they had to remove it because it's kind of a conflict of interest to have it on a streaming service and then for free. So. Yeah, um, I know that, like, fans have uploaded, like, the entire seasons in one batch, but I think some of those got taken down. Yeah. Like, let me see, the Ruby Volume 1. Um, no, no, it's still there. You can still, uh... <laughs> Wait, it's still available? Oh, no, like, the... Um, like, fans have posted it. Let okay. me open the video and, like, skip through it. Okay. Stupid ads. I don't. I don't want anything. Whopper, to do with whopper, ads. whopper, whopper, Junior. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is straight up just the entirety of Ruby Volume One. All right. Yeah, so, I love that. But I, I do remember from like last time I rewatched and I did this method. Not every single volume is uploaded. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's like, 
But I also have, um, I have, uh, one through seven on DVD, so. What? You have the DVD? Yeah. Let's fucking go, dude. Yeah, I, I got issues. <laughs> hey, at least it's better than my obsession with Sanji. <laughs> Ruby is is pretty well, good. Arguable. Yeah. Uh, what? Well, mm, arguable. <laughs> Ruby. <laughs> I love Ruby to death, and I have for years. But I'm calling it good. Um. <laughs> <laughs> hey, as long as long it's easy to understand. Other than some shows that I've watched, uh, Murder okay. Drones as an example. But. <laughs> mm. Oh my God, Murder Drones is so hard to follow. <laughs> I've, I've never even heard of that. It's it's really good. Don't get me wrong, but like, mm-hmm. the pilot came out like two years ago, and they finally released like a like a second episode to kind of go off of it. I don't right. know if it was like it was been so long, or maybe things behind the scenes that we don't understand. But mm-hmm. it was so hard to follow the second episode. But I was sitting mm-hmm. there confusion, like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> God. So if you oh, if you guys would like to read this uh, book or see what else the author has written, I will leave it down below for you guys to read as well with your friends. Curse Yay. them with Germany and Italy together. <laughs> Yay! But I guess in the next uh, next time you see Coda on my screen, we'll be reading a uh, Blake and Yang together. Yeah, let's go. All right, but my name is Phoenix. This has been Coda, and we'll Maybe. see you guys next time. <laughs> See ya. Bye-bye.